So uh, as you can see, Clarksburg, city I'm working, it's in West Virginia. And we've got a monument to Stonewall Jackson. Looks like it was erected in the early 50s. Looks newer than that, actually. This is ironic because <laughs> Stonewall Jackson is probably the second most, or at least in the top three or four, generals to rebel against the U.S. federal government in the Civil War, the War of Northern Aggression. That's the way he would have seen it anyway. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, as uh, Ken Burns pointed out in his documentary on the Civil War, people like him and Robert E. Lee killed more Americans than Hitler or Tojo or certainly Osama bin Laden. It's really interesting. It's almost like a contradiction. And uh, we walk over here, find another memorial. In honor of God and country. Well, I'm a bit confused here. What country are we talking about? Because he was talking about the Confederate States of America, but uh, they don't rule here. It's also doubly ironic because West Virginia was part of Virginia when he was born and when the war started, and then it broke away. Uh, some combination of the fact that the people here didn't either like West Virginia or the federal government wanted to break a piece off, a combination of the two, no doubt. Uh, so that's ironic that he's, uh, <laughs> he's from here, but this state owes its existence to his defeat, the, the utter defeat of his cause. And then we come over here, we find a more politically incorrect things. Now, this is interesting. I don't see any text. There's no plaque. Unless my theology fails me, I believe the Ten Roman Numerals are an indication that this is the Ten Commandments. And we've got another one over here. So uh, perhaps the idea is, uh, <laughs> it's tongue-in-cheek that these are, they look like the Ten Commandments, but maybe they're not. Maybe it's just... 10 Roman numerals set in bronze. <laughs> I don't see a date on these. I don't see anything on these. No date, no anything. So I'm wondering if uh, these are supposed to be, be a little bit more low key. And then, of course, Harrison County. Harrison County Courthouse is the county we're in. It's actually a pretty big building. Uh, much larger than the ones I'm used to in my hometown. Look at that door, Jesus. But uh, of course, we've got the symbols of the U.S. federal government. And what are those things in the talons? Oh, those are those are Faskies. All right, that's the. <laughs> Roman symbol of imperial authority. It's the uh, noun for which we get the derivative of the word fascism. These are quite common in U.S. federal government stuff, which is interesting because this is a county building. However, 1931. Um, I want to be a bit surprised, if, even though this is a county building, that this owes its uh, creation to the federal government. Oh, look up at the top there. More Faskies. <laughs> we got, I mean, Alex Jones would have a field day here. I'm not really interested in the occult stuff. Uh, just symbols of fascism, synonymous with the federal government. It's very, very appropriate. Uh, it's got that Art Nouveau deco. So, so it's interesting that we've got 
you know, one of the single greatest threats to the federal government ever, an active rebel. I don't know how many deaths you could attribute to Stonewall Jackson, certainly the thousands, possibly in the tens of thousands. Robert A. Lee probably wins there. You know, I always heard Ken Burns also pointed out that more Robert E. Lee killed more Americans in 15 minutes in the Battle of Cold Harbor than Americans died in all of the D-Day invasion. Uh, it's interesting. So he's he's here. And, yeah, it's a federal building. What, what do we have over here? I haven't... Well, just to get a little bit more history. Oh, I knew McClellan did stuff in uh, West Virginia. I didn't know he was here. Now this looks... Oh man, this looks very, very socialist to me. Let's see. Almost has a terracotta look to it. It says the immigrants. This guy looked kind of black. Yeah, I don't know if you call them immigrants, really. Coal miners. Flags at half mass. That's that's probably because uh, the NDAA got suspended by a judge. This is a day of mourning for the federal government. Oh, look at this. This is a democratic place, I'm pretty sure, but we've got Stonewall Jackson and the Ten Commandments uh, taking primacy of place. Pretty generic uh, monument to sacrifice and patriotism. Not particularly terrible. Kind of a message, uh, you know. Don't uh, take us pretty seriously because uh, you know we've been codified by this death. Uh, yeah, I've uh, first couple years I worked here, I really didn't come downtown ever. Uh, and a few times I did, I saw this statue, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll. I, now I'm living like two blocks away. Figured I'd come and take a look. There's actually a police station on the other side of this. If you ever saw the video I made about never, never abducting a prostitute with a Soviet rifle? That was my coworker. This is where he got uh, tried in this courthouse. It's, a J, it's hooked to this building, it's actually in the back. The police station where he got arrested from is back there too. So, <laughs> it's just ironic. The, uh, there's a real disconnect between the history of someone like... Oh, and I'm not in focus. Yeah, there's a real disconnect between the, the history of a guy like Stonewall Jackson. And he's on the... Let me check this out. You know, it's, it's one thing to say, well, I'll zoom back out. Now you could say, well, they made that back in the 50s, you know, and we were all racist still, and, you know, they don't believe any of that now. But then they got little banners about him hanging up all over town. I mean, that's the only kind of banner they have. They just alternate the color. <laughs> uh, 
seems kind of funny. Um, it's like, I don't know, this would be like, I don't know, William Wallace statues in London or something, except <laughs> 10 times closer. Uh, so it's, it, <laughs> I see a lot of irony in government buildings like this, uh, more so than I see in the North because we don't get, have the Confederate angle. But uh, I wonder how, how cognizant people are. It's kind of like putting uh, Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. It's really, really ironic. And, you know, the someone who went to the trouble of sculpting a Stonewall Jackson thing, he would have to know that. But just like the people who had to design the $20 bill, there's no way they don't know that Andrew Jackson was against central banks. <laughs> You know, that he considered his greatest victory the defeat of the predecessor of, of the Fed, the Second Bank of, of the United States. There's no, I mean, the average American doesn't know that. But the guy who engraved the Federal Reserve note, he had to know that. Whoever designed this had to know this. Whoever picked this, I don't know the, the history of the Faskies. It's been in Congress, I think, forever. I guess it makes sense. They were always talking about Greece and Rome. Uh, pretty influenced, heavily influenced by the classics. And by the Bible, even though I think a lot of the founding fathers were deists and probably had views that were technically heretical and ecumenical. But that doesn't mean they didn't know about the Bible. They certainly did. I, I think this is weird that they're not marked. Here's the ramp. When they got light, you got to illuminate the, uh, the temple of governance. So, <sighs> yeah, wow. And of course, the next tallest buildings adjacent here are our uh, Chase Manhattan Bank. <laughs> totally fitting. So, yeah, and you know what is weird is this, this milieu, this kind of motif is uh, probably repeated in every little town across America. So, and I don't think it always used to be that way. I think if we would go back farther, we wouldn't see all this stuff. There's, Washington has placed a hegemonic stamp on a very large Anglo-American society and, uh, Although, to keep this in perspective, we're looking at one little spot in a large area. So the actual physical domination is uh, a lot less than this architecture would suggest. And what have we here? That's very fitting. We got two symbols of fascism. Actually, there's a third one. Yeah, look at that. We got the Faskies, and then we've got the camera. Look at that. <laughs>